Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So today we are doing this video in the COA subject called Restoring Division for Sign Numbers. Yes, we have already done a video for division where we saw both Restoring Division and the faster one Non-Restoring Division. I hope you remember that. But they work only for unsigned numbers. So as long as your inputs, your numbers are positive, you are happy to use them. Now, if you are preparing for tough college exams or if you are preparing for entrance exams, gate exam particularly, then you need to know this algorithm which is the pinnacle of division. If you know this, you know every form of division. Here we are going to do division of negative numbers. That is why the algorithm is for signed numbers. It works for both positive as well as negative numbers but the interesting part is when you do division of negative numbers. So people prepare only the initial algorithms and go. If they are lucky, they get the simple questions. The moment they see 7 divided by minus 3 or 6 divided by minus 5, they have to leave the question because all your other algorithms are not going to work. Unless you know this algorithm, you can't solve those questions. This is a continuation of restoring division with a few tweaks to the original algorithm. You need to understand how to handle the dividend. Here your picture of the dividend will become more clear. You need to understand how to determine whether a step is successful or not. It's a little uh, I, won't, I won't say the word difficult, but yes, it's a little tricky. So we're going to go very slow on it. I've taken lots of examples. First, we're going to do 7 divided by minus 3. Reverse it, minus 7 divided by 3. Then even bigger numbers, 14 divided by minus 2. There is a particular reason why I've taken this. When you do this algorithm with any number which is a power of 2, something very interesting happens, which is what I'm going to show you over here. And then again, the reverse of that, minus 14 divided by 2. Uh, all these sums, I could have drawn the whole solution and then explained, but that's not fun. The fun is to do it together. At each step, I'll pause. You're going to give me the answer. Okay. So that's what we're going to do in this video. You want to learn the whole video. You want to learn all of COA. Enjoy learning the subject. Come on my website, www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link is given down below. Over there, we've made courses for various microprocessors, microcontrollers, and for COA. We keep adding video, videos as and when we can, as and when I get a request. This was highly requested by students. Now, because things have got far more competitive, everybody suddenly has got too many marks. So the level is going to go higher. And and of course, that's what happens every year by year. The level of students also keeps increasing. So on the request of students, I've added this video and plus we'll keep making more videos. You come on my website, uh, select the COA course, click subscribe with a small payment to it. Of course, it's a paid service, but we get the fee as low as possible so that everybody can afford at the same time. This, the whole process is viable for us to do. Uh, make the payment immediately, your course becomes active. Uh, you get all the existing videos plus any other videos that I'll add in the future. Your subscription is valid for six months. You can watch all the videos as many times as you want. Plus with every video, you get a PDF which has the entire theory, numerical examples. In the PDF of this video, there will be far more sums other than the ones that I have done over here so that you have every possible case in front of you. Uh, plus, you get PDFs of Viva questions, PDFs of MCQs which we keep updating all the time, adding more exciting questions to it because MCQ has become the new pattern now. So, and it's going to be here to stay. Uh, I don't think universities would really want to go back to those long answers which people can just by heart and write without understanding. But MCQ is something only if you understood the topic, you can handle those questions. So yes, you'll be well prepared for those also. And the questions will be not only from your college level point of view, we have tough and then we have really tough questions which come in those entrance exams. Anyway, plus you also have direct access to me. Once you become my student, this is my WhatsApp number. Text me whenever you have a doubt. As soon as I'm free, I will reply. Okay. Hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do well.